Hey guys, Bruce here from SenseySlots.com. I want to show you some of the uh, cars that we got in from our most recent collection, as well as some new Carrera cars that had just come in. Um, this video is added on to our Revo slot video. I'm coming to you from the workshop at home and I want to get these out on the web so you guys can see them and if you want to buy them you can obviously get them at sensyslots.com. So we're going to start off with the Carrera cars. They came out with three new 124 scale and the first one is a Lola T70. It's got a nice shade of purple. I'm not, oops, I'm not normally a fan of purple, but I, I really like the shade they have here. It's kind of hard because there's a window on the other side of the camera, so you get a lot of reflection, but you get the idea. And then we have the C7 Corvette Callaway. They made this in 132, so if it looks familiar, that's why. I'm glad they're still doing the C7s. I still think that's probably one of my favorite Carrera cars. And the last one is a new Porsche 917K. As you can see here. Nothing fancy, but everybody loves a 917. So there you go on the 124 scale. <clears throat> as far as the 132s go, we got the BMW 320 Turbo. Another release of these. And we have the BMW M1. So with this one, there's plenty of sites like Pato's or your favorite decal supplier that you can get marble decals to make it look even cooler. And lastly, this one looks like the throwback to a Parnelli Jones, George Fulmer Trans Am car. This is probably, in my eyes, the best looking Mustang that they've put out so far of this body. I think it looks great. So there you have it for the Carrera new releases. Now, we just bought a collection, about just over 800 cars. A majority of them are used. There are some new cars, uh, primarily slotted sideways. Um, but, as far as what brands are in there, again, you're gonna have sideways slot it. Um, there's some racer, there's a couple BRMs, NSR, Skelectric, Pioneer, um, SCX, you name it, there's probably at least one from that brand. Um, normally when I buy a collection, I typically take one car for myself, one that sticks out that I don't have that just piqued my interest. So the one I took this time, what is this, March six-wheeler from Skelectric. This is on like a suspension type arm because I'm sure if they were together it would probably be even a, more of a handling nightmare than I'm sure it already is but yeah they had this one and um there's a blue one too so both of those I'm going to keep but the rest will be listed um as I said in my last video that I've yet to post, but will be coming to you later today. 
let me show you some stuff that is coming. So here we go. Man, that window is killing me. Anyhow, there's a bunch of new sideways cars. There's some VRM, just those three. There's one of the racers and the NSR. This one, the vintage Cotterum. And for those who have always wanted to try an SCX bike, Motorcycle GP, they're right there, along with some Pioneer. Over here, we have Slotits. And most of these Slotits are gonna be around 30 to 35 bucks. So it's a fantastic deal, if you ask me, to get a Slotit car for that little bit of money. And that Mercedes three car set, it's brand new. And some more Slotits in here. And this one, which I'd say a majority of you either never heard of it or it's like a unicorn. So what this is, is this is obviously the MotoGP bikes from BikeMo. Uh, they tried to make a go of it probably, if I had to guess, 10 to 15 years ago. And they were super expensive and it, it, it just didn't work. The, the, well, the bikes worked and everything was fine, but I just think for the price, they were ahead of their time. If it had been released in today's market, uh, people wouldn't be as um, shell-shocked on the price. So I'll go ahead and open this up. So here you have the bikes. And they've got great detail. They've got the brake rotors and all the fender flaring. Got weight to keep it upright along along with a magnet. Got your driver with a super detailed helmet. And these were actually came with this kind of a controller, like an RC. So you have your throttle, and then this is your lean, so your biker would lean in the corners where, well, I covered them up, but the um, Skelectric ones, while they were very nicely detailed and looked good, your guys went around a corner standing up, and as you can imagine, if people are complaining about something simple, they're really gonna be complaining about a bicycle or a motorcycle going around a corner standing up. So that's mostly why the Skelectric bikes didn't go. So they come with different, different plugs for different tracks. This one is for your Carrera track. So you would plug that in and then plug their remote into this. And also has a power supply. Got your directions. So this one's probably going to be in the two hundred dollar range. But it's just one of those things. It's like the Fly BP truck that had the camera in it. Is it for everybody? No. Is it a cool piece for the collector? Heck yeah, it is because there just weren't that many of them. And lastly, before I let you go, we have, here's what the Skelectric bikes look like. So, you know, they've got excellent detail as well. And they've got these skid plates to keep it upright. A magnet you can move in a couple of different spots. And I don't believe these are original, but they might be. These little curb feelers. So there you go. But, you know, we also have a bunch of Carrera NASCARs. 
And if you're a NASCAR fan, there's a whole lot of Skeletric and Monogram NASCARs coming. And there's your first tray of Carrera cars that'll be posted. So these down here, you don't see those very often. You don't see the Fast and Furious Mustang that often. So yeah, it's a nice, a nice uh, variety of cars. So, all right, there's my dog. So we'll get these uh, posted and on the page and Go ahead and visit us at cincyslots.com and uh, we'll continue to keep bringing you these collections. So enjoy. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.